Welcome to the how-to video that's going to tell you what you need to know to get out of the mainstream and become a certified hipster. Want to be a hipster, huh? Do you even know what a hipster is? No? Didn't think so. So what is a hipster anyway? No, no, no. That's a hippie, not a hipster. God, get it right. Hippies originated in the 1960s as members of the peace free love movement. They took a lot of psychedelic drugs. Hipsters are typically urban middle class young people who are drawn to the subculture of non-mainstream independent media and fashion. Common characteristics can include unkempt hair and offbeat clothing. They like to make their own stuff, non-conformist political views, and they tend to dwell in places like Portland, Oregon. First, you have to look like a hipster. You can't just go around dressing like some conformist, nickelback-loving jock. Thrift stores are the mecca of hipster wear. If your local shop has been picked clean already, you'll have to settle for urban outfitters and just take the blow to your wallet. These are the key ingredients for your hipster getup. Super skinny jeans, plaid shirt, an ironic t-shirt, an artsy scarf, black-rimmed glasses, and converses. There are some gender-specific items to remember. Guys should have either styled or full-on facial hair. Wearing a v-neck will help show off the lovely chest mane. Bronze Al jewelry is perfect for girls along with a romper and lace tights underneath. Or you can just cast away gender altogether and remain androgynous because you don't want to be labeled. Put it all together now. You have your cute little checkered shirt, your super duper skinny purple jeans, the essential plaid flannel shirt, some brightly colored Converse sneakers, black rimmed specs. Wait, not hipstery enough. There you go. Don't forget that bronze owl necklace, a scarf with birds on it, and a non-conformist hairdo. See, wasn't that easy? You're good to go. So what sort of things do hipsters like? Generally, they like anything that's obscure or classified as indie. They actually have a pretty broad range in their taste of music. Despite their Grammy, Arcade Fire is a favorite. The Clash is real punk music. The Decemberists are as hipster as it gets. Johnny Cash classifies as, quote, good country music. New Order fulfills their love for 80s dance music and Sigur Rós for Icelandic hipsters. Cut the word movies out of your vocabulary. Hipsters call them films. A good collection includes the quirky love story Garden State, anything by Wes Anderson. It's all hipster gold. For times of twisted angst, Donnie Darko. You will name your child Clementine because of eternal sunshine and the spotless mind. Hipsters love documentaries. It makes them feel aware of the world. Now go buy all of those. You will soon learn that hipsters don't need art school because they're so naturally creative. Combine a vintage film camera with a hipster and you get a freaking masterpiece. Being a photographer, graphic designer, artist, writer, or blogger, all freelance, of course, may seem like hobbies, but they are a hipster's career, and you don't tell them otherwise. It's time to walk the path of a hipster. Actually, biking would be more accurate. Hipsters like to live eco-friendly lives. They ride their fixed gear bike everywhere and eat organic vegetarian food that they grow themselves. When they do shop, they use those reusable cloth bags so they don't kill nature with plastic. If you don't like politics already, you better learn to because hipsters love politics. They tend to have liberal socialist views on policy and are heavily against war. Hipsters always find a way to talk about their worldviews and how they intend to make it a better place. So where can you find some fellow hipsters that share your interests in life pursuits? Hipsters live on coffee and tea, so find a shop where they can drink their lifeblood. Bookstores are an intellectual hipster breeding ground. Poetry readings are perfect for the super hip and creative. Also look in ironic settings like the aquarium or zoo. Saturday farmers markets are where you will find the organic vegetarians, and any sort of festival for art or music is sure to be riddled with hipsters. So grab your laptop, find that bookstore that serves coffee and tea, but be sure it's hipstery enough. Pop in some tunes while you update your blog and sip your tea. Keep that intellectual book in hand and you will surely be noticed by your fellow hipsters. You are now a certified hipster. Feels good, doesn't it? Welcome to life outside of the mainstream.